it's kind of funny how I got in this position because it was never part of my plan when I got here. So it took me three years to actually get involved, and it came through Professor Rob's class. French, aka Frenchy, PKA Genius. I am a Georgia State senior, hospitality major, music is my passion. We had to throw an event. This was during my junior year, 2010. This is the year we we're about to have a football team, so we had to throw a tailgate for the football team, and it was called College Town Downtown. That was the name of the event. And I was on the marketing team, so it was our job to market the event. So I wound up making all the graphics, and I wrote a song for the event called Blue Blitz. We in the city, we gon' paint it blue. We in the city, we gon' paint it blue. We in the city, we gon' paint it blue. Straight from GSU, this is what us Panthers do. We bring it college town. College town, college town, downtown. College town, college town, college town, downtown. And it was a hit. The whole class liked it. They started sharing it with their friends. Wound up becoming very, very popular on campus. Uh, wound up performing it at the event. After that, I started getting opportunities to perform places on campus. Uh, sports marketing approached me, and they wanted to use the song to help promote football, so they started playing it at the, uh, the Georgia Dome. That was just a very cool moment to see the song come on. People stood up and started dancing and singing, so it was good. That's how I got my position after that event. That's when all the opportunities came. And then October 2010, which was in the middle of the football season, um, I got the opportunity to have a story written about me on the homepage on gsu.edu. And the title of the article was Panther Pride Leader. So ever since that story was published, I really embraced that role. And then I just started to really just live the role every day. And I just kind of found my place at the school. So I just kept writing songs, and I would always paint my face however many times I could paint it. Every week I'm on campus, I have my face painted. So I just got really into it. A lot of people think I go to every event. I miss a lot of events because I don't stay on campus. If I was to stay on campus, I'm sure I'd be at every game, especially the basketball game that's right down the street. But all the home football games, I make sure I go to all of those. I only missed one football game out of all the seasons the three seasons i missed one home football game that was this year the first football game was always the most crowded it's a lot of a lot of blue t-shirts a lot of pom-poms a lot of face paint after that uh, it just kind of gradually dies down as the year goes on especially this year since we weren't winning games right now those those feelings of oh the team is whack uh, i don't, don't want to go to the games that type of energy is that's what you see. We haven't really built that that loud throughout the whole game type spirit that you see at other schools. Like they never, like they never shut up. <laughs> like certain stadiums, you know, like if you go to Alabama, it's gonna be packed, and they're not gonna sit down. You know, we're at the stage right now. People go to games, they sit down. It's not really even at basketball games. If like you'll have a good crowd, but it's not a, a hyped crowd. So we got to get to that stage. It's not really about just having people in the seats. It's about really building that, that energy at the games. Overall, the experience of going to football games, I think, is about the students having a fun experience with their friends. A lot of people go here. Thousands and thousands of people. Some people come here and never get recognized for anything. They don't get involved in anything. They, they probably leave early. So it's just something else that you can do 
to have fun with your friends and to contribute to the culture of your school. And we're in a unique time period at Georgia State where we're trying to build tradition. So this is an important group of students. Like our college is a city. And I think that's really unique that we're a college that's in the middle of a major city. And we'll be able to look back like when the school becomes more spirited and be like, I was part of the building. Of that. So I think that's really what a lot of students should be proud of. And that's why they should want to go to games. It takes more active people in the community to build spirit around things that have nothing to do with your sports so that we can kind of have that connection as a campus and then we can show up to the games and be hyped. It just takes a conscious effort to build the tradition. I think a lot of people wait for a reason to do something instead of being the first to do it. Nobody wants to be the first because nobody wants to stand out and look weird. So I think that's a lot to do with it because we're in that stage. We don't have a tradition built, so people are kind of waiting. When I first started painting up, I wasn't doing it just to be the only one. I wanted to kind of get more people involved in it. That's always the goal. But to me, to put the paint on, it puts that visual to school spirit. Like you can see it, like this guy has paint on. This is a dedication, like you have to be dedicated to wake up on a school day, paint your face, and walk around a campus where people are just walking around in sweats and you know, going to class and they see a guy, man, he's really putting a lot of thought in that. So if I can get people talking about it, even if they don't say positive things all the time, I don't mind. But you see there's somebody on this campus who walks around and has pride for the school. So I'm hoping that it just kind of rub off. I think it's already rubbing off. People usually wait for the team to get really good. They haven't become important enough to the people here for people to actually really be a part of that that culture. So I think that's why people could go to games. It's just something to do. They don't really have that sense of pride yet. But I think it'll happen sooner or later. Creative people, I think, have a lot of power. People who are talented in music or art, anything you do, it doesn't have to revolve around sports. It's, it's like building that culture outside of the games so that when you go to the games, it's like already a part of you. It has to be something important to you as a person. And your friends have to really buy into it that, all right, we're gonna be spirited. Like, it has to start somewhere. It doesn't always have to start in the arenas watching teams play. Unfortunately, the tradition is that school spirit revolves around sports. And we, I don't think Georgia State is known for being a prestigious sports school. Like, if you're a really good athlete, you're going to pass up Georgia State if UGA offers you a scholarship or if Georgia Tech offers you a scholarship. So being at a school that's not really known for sports, it's gone. It's kind of taken a while for us to build that spirit where other colleges have already been prestigious for a while in sports, so they've already built tradition. So if we want to speed up that process, we have to find a way to build spirit without depending on sports. School spirit is fun. It should be something you enjoy doing. It's something that can unite a campus. We all represent this same color, the same logo, and that means something. So to be spirited, it's deeper than sports. It's about unity of people. When people come together and and believe in a, a common vision or a common idea, which is Georgia State Panthers. This is something that we all are and have in common. Anything you contribute, school spirit is what you make it. And that's what it should be. It should be a team effort. So I'm not expecting everybody to make that really deep emotional connection to Georgia State. But I'm lucky to say that I did come here and I found a place where I could be accepted in and recognize and be able to give back to the to the community and contribute. So when I think of Georgia State, I think of opportunity to be great and to make your life what you want it to be. It's PA, PA, and you stay where we stay and we say we build, we build, we build, we build, we build, we build, we build. It's PA. Yeah, you stay where we stay and yeah, we say We be good, we be good, we be good, we be good